started back in January, I was making YouTube videos consistently and I decided to make one on how you can start making money on freelance because cash is king. Whatever you're trying to do in life, you have to make sure you have consistent cash flow in order to succeed in it. Welcome to Rolalia.com. Remember, you can't just leave off savings and expect your business venture to work out in a few weeks or months because you will focus 100% of your time and energy. Sometimes it takes years to pull out any profit from that business and any enough to cover your living expenses. We all know how hard it is to escape that rat race, but quitting your job and going on all, all in into an idea to make an online or physical business is definitely not the way. We also know that being on a 9 to 5 doesn't leave you with a whole lot of time to build a business on the side. So I think the best thing you can do is to start your transition slowly with something like freelancing. Where you can sell your skills and earn enough to cover your expenses for a few hours of work and be super flexible. And when you get to the point where you start making consistent orders every day and you're confident to make a living as a freelancer, you can then quit your full-time job and maybe turn freelancer into a full-time job. If you're earning that much than your physical job and you're happy with the money you make or you can expand your freelancing income by outsourcing the orders you receive to someone who can do it for a cheaper rate. And you'll be like an agency in this case or maybe just keep it a part-time to cover your bills and use all your free time to build a business you actually want to build. It's up to you what path you choose. But this plan has one major flaw. Freelance platforms like Fiverr are too competitive already and it's super hard to get noticed. That's one of the reasons we have Rolade.com for you. I could have made a video telling you this and then go say there are tons of videos here on YouTube where you can find tips and tricks to start getting some orders. But I wanted to go a step further and watch those videos myself and implement everything I learned from them and see if I'm actually going to make any sales. How long is it going to take me to get my first order and if everything they say in those videos is legit or if it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So I created an account on Fiverr back in January and to be completely honest, I did not expect it to take me more than 6 months to get my first order while I was learning about the platform, what and what I should do and what I should not. I stumbled across many videos on the 7 day Fiverr challenges and many of them got a few orders in their 7 days, which is just insane to me and I had a high time believing them that it is true. Luckily, I set my expectation for a much longer time frame, like one or two months, so I don't just get disappointed too early. But this time frame turned out to be not even close to what happened in reality. Unfortunately, I can't show you how my gig glue was looking when I created it and I the exact analysis for the first two months. But I have a screenshot from the 26th of January, which is like 20 days after I created the gig. And you can see that I got only 19 impressions and zero clicks. So at this point, I knew it was going to be tough and probably I won't make any sale within 60 days since I created the gig because I barely get any eyeballs to my gig. But I've put quite a bit of effort into putting everything together and I think my gig was above the average for a first time seller on, on Fiverr. So I didn't change anything to make sure my results will be pretty much the same as what most of those people who want to start selling services on Fiverr will get. So I decided to wait for two months, analyze the stats and then make changes accordingly to improve my performance and eventually make a sale. So fast forward to another month which is around two months since I created the gig and I didn't get a screenshot to show you how my analysis were looking. But remember, I got, 20, I got like 24 or 26 impressions only and of course still zero clicks. And I want to point out that I was online for like 10 hours a day because I was working on my other stuffs and I just kept the Fiverr tab on on my browser and open at all times. So I was showing to Fiverr that I'm active and not just an account and stay for two months. And that's one of the tips I learned while watching other sellers videos on YouTube. So like I said, even though I took the time to set up my account and gig properly and I remember I spent like two days doing everything as good as possible on the account itself. The title of the gig, the description, SEO optimized. So I searched for different keywords and all that. The fake pricing put up a nice introduction video to present my skills, design a good looking thumbnail and basically everything you can think of. 
and I was standing online every day as well and still didn't get anything. So I was a little bit frustrated that the platform didn't even give me a chance by pushing my gig to the front pages for like one day or so to get a few 100 clicks or impressions and determine whether my gig is worth being pushed to more people. I had a lot of things to improve because buyers are not interested in my gig. So at that time, I was really busy with my YouTube channel and other stuff that I do and didn't have time to dig deeper and find out where the issue is and what I should do to get better results. So fast forward again to July this year when I actually found some time to really give my best to improve my performance and get my first order on Fiverr. So if you want to find success in whatever you do, you have to follow what successful people in this field do because that's what I did. I got back on YouTube and watched as many videos from successful sellers on Fiverr as I can too and, and took notes on everything I haven't done before. Or I just haven't done it correctly and trust me, I had to watch probably hours of content to find a few tips that are actually helpful and we have an impact on my listing as most of the videos talk about just very basic stuff. How to write your description and titles, how to price your gigs, and so on and so forth. And so how important are reviews for your success on Fiverr? I mean, you basically tell me that if I have like 105 stars reviews on my gig, I'll probably like on the first page and I'll get a couple of others every day and make a ton of money. Well, I already know that. Tell me how to get those 100 reviews in the first place. I don't need to get others when I already got hundreds of others. You know, if I got to this point, I probably figured it out already. So the real pain is when you have zero others and you're starting from scratch. And it was really hard for me to find any useful tips to get my first order on Fiverr. Apart from being told that basically reviews are king and that the last thing I want to hear when I'm just starting out. But anyway, like I said, I found few useful things to improve my ranking on Fiverr and eventually make my first sale. So I implemented them and I remember I spent a few days to put everything together because I really wanted to try hard and get that first dollar and learn from everything I have done. So I can do this video afterwards and tell you that I have done wrong and what exactly I fixed to improve my ranking and get noticed on Fiverr. So you can have a much longer chance to set up a brand new account and get your first order on Fiverr in a month or less and actually create an opportunity for you and just talk to some random how you can make the amount of money or that amount of money because those people are really making it and show you people who are 4 years on the platform. This doesn't make sense to me. If it was that easy, everybody would do it right. So like I said, I have done many changes and improvements to my account around the end of July and I finally got my first order about 1 month after those changes. Finally, I mean, it's been seven months. At some point, I thought I might not make it like people are getting their first order within seven days or within a month. And I was like six months in and I got only 26 impressions. No clicks, no one contacted me. I was just like nothing, not existing in the platform. But I'm not the kind of person who is going to give up just like that. And you know what motivates me a lot? When I see someone who doesn't have even close to my skills or his gigs looks terrible but still crashing his on Fiverr and I'm like, if he can do it, of course, I too can do it. So I kept grinding until I found what was dragging me down. So now please pay very attention because I'm going to share with you a giant value bomb that will level up your game on Fiverr and get you your first order within a month or so. As you already know, this is first hand stuff and I didn't read them from somewhere from an article or whatever, just sharing what I read. This is what I actually did and it worked. And I tested myself, so here we go. The first thing I changed is the number of gigs I offer. Basically, I started with only one gig, as I wanted to provide services for video editing on YouTube because I was feeling more comfortable doing it as this is what I do every day for my channel. This was a huge mistake because I limited myself to only one pocket of audience and my chances to get an order were much, much lower. On Fiverr, you can offer 7 gigs as most when you are a normal seller and you are allowed to offer more than when you are a top seller or a pro seller and I'm not sure to be. I just know that you can offer more than 7 gigs because many sellers do so. But in the beginning, you have to be limited to only 7. So what I just let you do is maximize your chance for success by creating all 7. And what stopped me personally in the beginning from doing it was I was thinking of creating a gig for wedding video but they didn't have any footage of the wedding. So I can edit a trailer or something and showcase it on my gig and make people purchase it. 
And I just thought that if I'm a buyer, I would like to see what the seller can do in terms of editing and actual wedding. And I would be triggered to buy his services if he shows something else. So because I didn't have any wedding footage, I thought it would be pointless to even spend the time to create an optimized gig. And that's basically how I ended up with only one gig. But in July, I actually tried harder and what I did is I went on a website called Pezius.com and which is basically a website for free footage and I simply searched for a wedding and I found the necessary footage, edited the footage and set up the gig. That's how I did my travel and real estate gigs and I have a drop shipping background and so the rest of the gigs were easy for me to find ads to showcase and I just uploaded the ads I've done in the past. So the key takeaway here is if you offer copywriting services or logo design or whatever it is, try your best to come up with seven different gig ideas to offer on Fiverr. There are plenty of free materials you can use online, you, can, you just have to spend the time searching for them. This will basically boost your success rate by seven times, so it definitely worth it. Another thing I changed is the keywords I was trying to rank for. I remember that when you're just getting started, your SEO has to be spot on. Otherwise, you're just going to have an uphill battle and you probably won't get any others. So if you can offer 20 different gigs and increase your chances 20 times. But if your gigs are not SEO optimized, you still aren't going to make it. So to give you an example of that, I will type in the search bar, professional YouTube video editing, and this is basically what I optimized my first gig for. As you can see from the screenshots, my title was, I will do professional video editing within 24 hours. So the key was we had professional video editing and I put 24 hours to incentivize people to choose me over someone else. So if I go back, you can see that there are more than 41,000 services available for this phrase. And this is a lot. When you create a brand account on Fiverr, your main goal should be to find those low competition keywords so you can have a chance to rank in a good spot where you reviews and all that. And ideally, you should aim your keywords to have below 1,000 services available. And I can't stress this enough. This is probably the most important thing you want to focus on if you want to take Fiverr seriously. So between 1 and 2,000 services available is still okay, but if you want to see some good results as fast as possible, go with keywords that have less than 1,000 services available. And to give you an example of that, I'm going to show you one hidden gem that I didn't find it easy at all. And that's how you usually find the good things when you're willing to spend the time that most people don't. So as you can see, this is a pretty specific long take keyword and it's not broad just like video editing and that's it. That's YouTube video editing and it's every professional YouTube video editing. So when I created my gig originally, I just couldn't come up with something more specific than that. And if I click on the search bar, you can see that Fiverr doesn't suggest any other keywords that people are searching for. So whatever I decide to add on top of this basically won't make any difference because people are not searching for it. Or maybe just an insignificant amount of people do. And because I wanted to provide a video editing service for typical YouTube videos and not for a gaming summer for example or anything like that, I ended up with these keywords for my gig. Despite the same amount of services available, I was hoping that Fiverr might give me a chance because I saw multiple gigs on the first page for this very competitive keyword with less than 10 reviews. And you also have the rising talent section where people usually have no reviews. And I thought this is an experiment after all. Let me try and see what's going to happen so I will know if it works or not. But after six months, it was pretty clear that this ain't going to work. And if I don't make any changes, I will never get my first order on Fiverr. And that's how I stumbled across the hidden gem I told you about. I was looking for hours to find different keywords. Going through the categories, checking with the Fiverr suggestions from the search bar, looking at what the computers were trying to run for, and I found it basically the gig is the same. I just found different keywords for it and that is YouTube video editors. That is, it's that simple. I couldn't believe it. That it's, I'm not going to lie. And that's because I've spent so much time studying the YouTube algorithm and I still study it. Obviously, but I thought but both algorithms are pretty much the same. And if I search on YouTube for Fiverr challenge 7 days, for example, you can see the results that come up and it shows 7 days challenges, but it also shows 30 day challenges. It picks up the keyword Fiverr and challenge probably and shows up the best performing videos first. But if I add S at the end and turn it into 7 days instead of 7 days, we can see that this pretty much doesn't change the result because this is not what matters for the YouTube algorithm. But Fiverr is actually different. 
and I had to learn that the hard way. Currently, we have around 2,000 services available for these keywords, but if I remove the S at the end of YouTube video editing, you can see the giant difference. And also, I'm not sure if you notice about the results that are also different. If I quickly pick back the S at the end, you can see that it gives me completely different results, and you can see that the exact keywords is in, the people, in these people's titles. So when you search for YouTube video editors plural, you actually won't get any results singular. So this is a clear proof that making a small change like this will put you in a much smaller pocket of sellers and it will increase your chances to find success 35 times for this specific example. Because people who got those keywords singular in their title won't show up when it's been searched plural. And I found this very hard by spending hours of research. Like I said, but bear it in mind that when you find low competition keywords, you have to make sure there is enough demand for it. Otherwise, you won't make any sales. Even if you rank on the first page for that keyword, and we can validate the demand by looking at the sellers who rank for that keyword, and more specifically their reviews. If there are only a few sellers with a couple of reviews, and most of the sellers have no reviews, and that's, that's on the first page, that's probably a bad keyword as there is no demand for it. As you can see, the sellers who rank for this keyword have a bunch of reviews. There's also a 5 hours choice seller with more than 500 reviews and a multiple sellers with 100 of reviews. So the demand is definitely there and high demand and low competition is always equal to opportunity and this keyword is just your base. Now if I go further down into the rabbit hole and put the best YouTube video editors, you can see that this keyword now has only 700 services available. So YouTube video editor singular got 77,000 services and now we end up only, it's only 700 with a few adjustments on the keyword. But like I said, you have to make sure there is enough demand for the keyword. And as you can see, the results don't look too convincing. That's why I don't actually choose to rank for this keyword for my gig, but actually ended up with professional YouTube video editors, which has more services available than you best YouTube video editors. But the results just look so alive. There are so many sellers with a bunch of reviews and it's always a good practice to open up these gigs and see if they have others in queue. So that's going to tell you if the demand is currently there because sometimes you might find a keyword that was trending at a certain time and there was a lot of demand but now barely anyone is interested and people are not just looking for this service anymore. So you have to keep your eyes open for that as well. Unfortunately, this video is getting too long and I don't want to overextend it. So I have to wrap it up here and I have a few things that I wanted to mention in this video that I think would be very helpful if you are just getting started and you haven't got your first order on Fiverr yet. But I believe this were the main things that affected my performance and that will also affect yours as well if you don't take it into consideration. I have a lot more tips for you that I haven't seen literally anyone talk about here on YouTube. And in my next video, I'll try to make like the best 15 tips to get your first orders on Fiverr and something like that where I'll share so much value in one video. It's just the same that I will do it for free, but of course, I will do it for you guys. To be honest, I wanted to share a lot more in this video so I can help you out with your fiber again. But this video turned into a storytelling type of video where I shared my whole journey and did my best tips and tricks to get others. But anyway, at least you know what I've been through and everything I share is first-hand stuff and I found the real solutions for the problems I was facing. So I'm just going to repeat what everybody else is saying on YouTube and doesn't provide you any value whatsoever. So if you like the content, please give this a gentle type on the like button. This will help really to push my video to more people. And if you don't want to miss the next bombs that are coming, and I promise you, you don't want to miss that, subscribe to Lider.com. It's completely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. You can also watch my last video that popped up on the screen where I share some interesting stuff to get others on Fiverr and other freelancing. Thanks for watching and bye for now.